Now at nine. We the jury find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty. 76 different charges, all the same verdict. We're gonna help you. Justice coming in the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack. Justice is not a big enough word, I guess. Now a new step towards healing for the dozens of families and a community impacted by the tragedy. We're stronger than him, and it's been proven today. We begin at 9 with the end. Daryl Brooks found guilty on all 76 charges against him. 68 people were struck, 6 killed when he drove through the Waukesha Christmas Parade. Today's verdicts bring a sense of relief for victims, they tell us, their families and the community as a whole. We have team coverage for you tonight from Waukesha. Let's start with our Sam Kramer, who's been at the courthouse throughout the 18-day trial. Well, hi there, Steph and Ben. Prosecutors promised in their opening statements they'd be efficient in presenting their case against Brooks, and it appears they were. The jury deliberated for right around three hours before ending an 11 month wait for justice. All right, I will read each one into the record. In just a matter of seconds, we, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide. A defendant so defiant, so disruptive. What type of statement is that? Was suddenly out of words. As the judge read count by count. Guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety. His silence never changed. Burn in hell, you piece of hey. The jury found him guilty on all 76 counts for his attack on last year's Waukesha Christmas parade. A joyous day for that reason. It's also, uh, the point where we hope everyone can move on from. Backed by her team, Waukesha police surviving victims and their families. District Attorney Sue Opper says the victims inspired prosecutors to get this conviction. And we thought of those mothers and fathers sitting in hospital rooms with their children and the ongoing care that they're still physically healing from and certainly emotionally healing from. And to do so while minimizing the direct contact between victims and their attacker. This was months and months ago when he still had attorneys. We vowed we would not put children on the stand. Relying instead on a trove of other evidence like the battered SUV, DNA and surveillance video to retrace his steps, bringing families in this community. Justice was served for my wife, Virginia Sorensen. One step closer to accountability. He now faces imprisonment of six consecutive life sentences plus 859 years of confinement. Now that is how long Brooks could spend in prison, but his official sentence isn't set just yet. Both parties will be back in court on Monday for a scheduling conference to actually determine how his sentencing hearing will go. And Opera says she has already heard from dozens of victims who wish to speak at that sentencing hearing. We're live tonight in Waukesha, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. All right, Sam, thank you for that. The father of the youngest victim killed in the attack, eight-year-old Jackson Sparks, tweeted out this tonight. He says, today was a hard day, but a good day. This one is for you, my sweet little boy. Keep hitting homers in heaven till we meet again.